Well, this is a pretty absurd hand mana-wise, but it's not unplayable and probably better than a mulligan. Duress. All right, please take, take one of the plazas. <laughs> take nothing. All right, that is a pretty good draw. I guess we don't need to reveal that we have that. So we can start here. Play the courtyard on human. All right, land ended up being fine this game. Human it is, drop the adversary. Just try to curve out here. Now we have too much land. And we see a little cut down on the adversary. Fine. Okay. Well, I think we're just dropping the Peacekeeper into Infernal Grasp. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, if they kill it, we can always run back Paragon. What are we doing? They're gonna, they want to play Liliana, so we'll just take that instead. Nice. Seems pretty good to me. All right, they top deck the removal spell. But they are a little stuck on land. So whatever we play is just going to get Liliana this turn. So we do not want to put the Paragon down. We can probably name you on Angel, in fact. Well, it's just an initiate turn then. They do play Liliana. Okay. A fight? And you think you can win? They minus, that's fine. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. Let's play you on human. And let's just make sure. Your angel. And you're human, that's fine. And I guess you're white also? Alright, there we go. Play you out, get back the initiate this turn. We got plenty of land to dump to Liliana. Let's see if they hit that fourth land drop though. They do, finally. They deserve it, probably. They drop a Soren. Okay. Well, we have some decent attacks currently. You deal with this annoyance. Okay. What do we most want to see here? I guess we take the Masker this turn to prevent the minus three Masker. I think that's fine. None of these cards really scare us. I mean, really, we, we hate Sora the most. We don't even care if they plus Liliana. That's fine. So let's do it like this. All right. They're happy to lose Soren. I think we are naming... Um... Ooh. Well, we have to name Infernal Grasp now, I guess. If they top attack the land, though, it's pretty bad. Maybe we just play it back next turn. Maybe we just do Infernal Grasp here. Force them to top deck that land. Yeah. Let's make them have it. Hit fifth land minus the massacre, it's not great, but we can again just play it all back. All right, they hit it. Well, <laughs> that's what you get. They attack first, and they sweep everyone except for the paragon, but it's not the end of the world. It's only minus three, and we get to play everyone back this turn. Alana and Elena. They're probably going to pick off the Paragon this turn. So what do I most... I guess I should get the value out of the Paragon while I can. I guess this is fine. So let's get the most valuable thing we can out of the Paragon. Attack down Liliana is fine. Fine. I'll take my zombies and leave. And we're probably going to, yeah, like I said, Frontal Grasp on the Paragon makes the most sense. Invoke Despair doesn't make sense because we can sack the Adversary and then just keep playing things back with the Paragon. Yep. It makes the most sense to me. They have a follow-up which can draw. Alright. Sure. 
Should be fine like that. Okay. That's not an abysmal turn for us. When it drops to 12, we probably drop off an adversary. I'd like to keep Halana Lana for the haste every turn. They play the Trespasser instead. Okay. And they know they can power up the Bank Buster to block. We can make Halana Lane indestructible, though. Not the draw you wanted to see. Okay. Well, let's make you a little bigger. Try to spread out the love a little bit. Get in there. And then we can either a Ganjo or um, just take out the Bank Buster. Sorry, we can either Plaza of Heroes or a Ganjo. But they decide to jump like that. So no need to do anything in that case. Drop to four, okay. I think they really want their draw. I don't know what they're hoping to get, though. Don't think we need to play any more land at this point. We are all landed out. All right, what do you got, opponent? Does any mono black card get there? I don't think so, but mono black has a lot of great options. I mean, a shoulder is annoying, but again, they would just have too much attacking power. They take another draw, but now they're down to four mana. I don't think there's anything they can draw here. Yep, Shouldred is the thing, but again, they, they go block, take nine, so it's not enough. And, you know, not that it's necessary, but that's game. Just because we can. Yep. Sweet. I mean, doing our best to pick up our mono black. I mean, this deck, I like that... Um, Kalana and Lena can boost cards to be big enough to spar with 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 um children. It's important. Slightly awkward, but not awful. At least have Thalia ready to go on two. Start with the planes here, and then Plaza on two, and probably Thrawn Portal on three. Okay. Here comes the Thalia against Boros. It's actually pretty good. Either aggro or reanimator. Spirit of Companion, okay. All right, that's a good draw. I didn't really want to play the Cathar this turn. So let's play you out on... Um, I can play you out on red or green, actually. Let's play you out on red, because there is a procedure in the deck. And go ahead and take a peek. I guess we can attack first. All right, let's take a peek in the hand. Looking for their three drop. Ridge, Archangel on four. Lots of Emperors. Liliana... It's very expensive right now. They're pretty far. They, they have bad mana too. Wow, everything's really expensive. I guess Meat Hook is the thing we're most worried about. Let's take that. They definitely have an awkward hand though. Meat Hook is their only ability to answer the um, Dahlia right now. So, I don't hate taking that as the first thing. Alright, they do top deck... Something they can play this turn. We hit a land here. Lana and Elena's pretty dang good here. I think we put it on the Peacekeeper. Get him for some Vigilance damage. They take the Chump, okay. They could play Liliana. We're happy to sack Dahlia because we have the backup ready to go. They do. When I win, you're me when we'll drop off Thalia. Play the backup this turn. That's not terrible. I think I do definitely want you down. Just to continue to make everything more expensive. Drop an Initia as well. Let's get Dahlia going. Should be fine like that. This isn't how things were supposed to go. See if they can hit their next land drop here. 
We do have Cathar ready for an Archangel. They hit the fifth land. They could, what, minus one Massacre? That doesn't do anything. They flash in the Emperor right now to exile Thalia, probably. They do not like Thalia. Okay, fine. My judgment is fine. Probably Peacekeeper take the the next um Take the next Meat Hook Massacre. They're looking to top deck the land. Alright, let's give you haste. And we'll send the weakest two after you. And the strongest two can go face. Take a free block there. Emperor goes down. They get two off the life link. Drop 13. Oh, I already named the Meteor Massacre earlier. My bad. For some reason, I thought I thought they had picked off. That was a mistake. Take on Elena. No big deal. We're almost at lethal here. I think we take the missionary. We don't have to, though. Drop the Paragon instead, which is fine. I guess they're going to kick this twice and pick off someone. So, let's play the Adeline here. And you can go here. You can go face. You can go face. Train you up. Send this token here as well. Drop down to five, up two to seven. So they can they can kick you and um maybe pick off the Adeline this turn. Yeah, I did not mean to double name Meat Hook Masker. Just blanked on that. Alright. They're kicking you twice. Who are you picking off? Alright, they pick off the initiate, but we have the Cathar. Roland is fine. Take the Angel, I think. Get in there with everyone. They have to take a chump block there. Drop down to zero, up two. And we've named Meadook Masker, so they should have quite the issue this turn. Even if they pick off the Cathar, get back the Angel, kick it, pick off Adeline. I think we still have too much for them to deal with at once. Okay. They play Meadook for zero and a dramatic <laughs> Scooper Rooney. Fair enough. Nice looking curve here. We can keep this. Swamp Rooney Plaza. Interesting. Oh, no one drop this time. Bank Buster. Okay. Well, we have our Valor stances um, ready for shoulder when the time comes. Drop the Guardian. And here. Third land. Alright. That's all from them. Interesting. Probably going to get the Peacekeeper in there this turn. Guess we can save Bosiju for now. Let's attack first. Okay, they take it all. Looks like. Down to 18. Alright, let's take a peek. What's coming on turn 4? Shouldred. They have cut down. They have lots of Shouldred. Talking about and Invoke Despair. Alright. Shouldred it is. That's pretty sweet to name there. Okay. Take their draw here. They really want an answer to the Peacekeeper as soon as possible. Probably see the cut down of the Benali here as well. Yep. Well, we can actually drop off someone here. We could drop off one of the Valorous stances, probably. Keep our land, I think. Alright, well... Benalia sticks around. Okay, Takanuma. Infernal Grasp on the Peacekeeper. That's fine. We'll just play the backup. Okay. Thrawn Portal. Well, I guess that's coming in tapped this turn. We can probably play you on white just fine. And we're going to play the backup Peacekeeper as well. Attack your first. And we'll drop you. Name Shouldred again, unless they have removal. 
Oh, the Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, no. Yikes. All of that is awful. Now, we at least have Valorous Stance for Shouldred. Maybe we let Shouldred through. If they go land Meat Hook Massacre, I think we just lose the game. All right. Let's play you out on white. I think it's fine here. And we'll just be careful to set an upkeep stop so we can pick off Shouldred before we take damage from the draw. Yep, they drop a shoulder. That's fine. All right. Just being super careful with full control here. Let's go ahead and take you out now. I think there's almost no way we don't do this. And we should still have enough white to add a line. All right. That's why you're in the deck. But they do get to power up the Bankbuster here. Okay. Looted Courtyard. Well, we could kill the Bankbuster now. Give him, what, enough land for, um... It's kind of interesting. You also just trade the Banalia in a land. That's probably even better. Let's keep doing this on human. Let's drop the Adeline. Move to combat. Attack with you. Enlist. Two attackers. And, uh, enlist with the Peacekeeper. No, do not want either of you. All right, and then if they want to block, we can just make it indestructible and drop off Boseju. Well, we're doing the best we can here. We're going to see another shoulder this turn. Yep, there comes a shoulder. Backup Adeline's pretty good. Plaza of Heroes can make the first Adelaide Instructor, which is kind of interesting. So you're definitely getting in there. You're probably enlisting the Peacekeeper, I think is what we're doing here. Okay. Paragon's pretty good. Halana Elena is also very good. I might take Halana Elena over the Paragon. Just to shove as much damage through as possible. Let's see how they block this time. Sweet, that's great for us. Now we can actually use Plaza of Heroes right now. I think that's fine. Yeah, might as well. Alright. Target creature gets hexproof and indestructible. When it drops to seven. Okay. Doing our best here. Fifth land. We've named Masker off of the Peacekeeper. Invoke Despair is too slow. That's fine. Drop off one of our tokens. And that's game, friends. Nicely done. Woo! Feels good. Beating up on Mono Black. On the play. Nice little curve here. All right. Oh, man. Well, the double Aganjo is coming to bite us. We'll see if we can get there. Springs. Whew. Saved by the bell. Human. A little bit of stick there. Might see a cut down this turn. Eat that first. Eh, drop the sentinel into the cut down. Nothing else we can do. Or voltage surge or... Whatever it is this time. It is a voltage surge. No problem. Alright, tap land. Cool. Well, go ahead and attack here first. Looks like no stick this time, though. Go ahead and drop an adversary. Allows us to um, train up the initiate next turn, potentially. Okay, third Jund land. They play the Harvester. All right. Make a Blood Token. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Doesn't quite do everything I want it to do, though, does it? Could be an Aganjo turn instead. I think it's an Aganjo turn. Let's get in like this. And 
and they take that block. But we can keep it around if we want to. I think let's do it. Next turn, drop Halana Elena. Okay, they take their cycle now. Drop off an underdog. Drop to 14. Okay. Tap land. Alright, that's nice and slow for us. Do nothing. Well, if they have removal, we want Halana Lane to stick around more than anything, I think. So, let's do it like this, this turn. There is stick, so we're going to see something here. And then hopefully we can get Halana Lane to resolve next turn. Without being immediately picked off. Alright, pump the squad. I'm sure we'll see something here, but we don't know what it is yet. Riveteer's Charm. Sack a creature with the highest mana value. How badly do you want to deal 8 damage this turn? I guess we can sack you. It means we're hitting a little bit slower at the benefit of having a better long-term strategy. I'm not sure if that was the right move or not. Also, we should have just dropped the adversary and sneak in for a good chunk of damage. This is going to be a good turn, though. If they can't pick off Halana and Elena, we're going to have a very solid turn right here. Looks like they have more removal. Ah, very sad. Okay. Are we getting in with both? I think the answer is yes. All right. Train the initiate up. They take their free block there, go down to four. With lethal presented, what's next? Fifth land. War chief. Hasty blitz war chief. Oh, actually, not hasty. All right. Well, that's pretty good top deck. Can't complain too much about that. And get in with our five six. They don't have to block. They drop to two here. Hold the last land. Unleash the Inferno. Just barely enough damage. Any creature off the top here is going to feel real good. That's a pretty good draw. I guess they're looking... I hope they cycle the Blood Token. Because that means they don't have an answer yet. They do. Alright, so they have to top deck Cut Down or Voltage Surge. And they should ideally do it before we enter combat, but there was no stick there, so we got him. Woof! Hot diggity dog. Bam. Not too shabby at all. Can't ever complain when you are on the play. Taplin comes down. We have a nice little answer for that in the form of Thalia. Don't think they're going to love that in their Esper deck. Although land cut down would do the trick. Denic Pious Apprentice. Alright, well, you don't see that every day. Probably drop the plaza this turn. I guess we have to drop Thrawn Portal if we want to do it at any point in time. That's fine with me. Let's play you out on red. So do we Cathar you away? What are they going to do on turn three? Is this really five color legendary creatures? I don't think there's anything scary on turn three. Maybe we give it another turn. Take Denik. Whack him for two. We give him one more turn to draw into something good before we draw the Peacekeeper. Rafine. Alright. Well, that's pretty annoying. Aganjo does deal with that, though. Okay. I guess we're attacking and Aganjoing this turn. Block there. Deal 4 damage, I'm sure. Auto pace, fine. Alright, well, you're dead. Flip to night side, that's pretty nice. Faithful Absence. Very expensive. They get back the Denic, which is fine. Drop the Plaza of Heroes here. They're stuck on land. 
That was their best move this turn. Maybe we don't need to take the Peacekeeper. Let's get Thalia going. They take it all here. All right. Well, we're feeling okay. And they do hit their fourth land. And they play a Shouldred. We have no answer. I guess technically we could take this draw first. What's up with that? They just get their free attack? Okay. Well, I don't know if we need to be too fancy with the token. Initiates. All right. Probably just peacekeep and get Thalia in there, I suppose. Maybe we should have taken this draw on upkeep. I think that's the play, though. Let's start here. Get in. Actually, we should have taken the draw first because we could hit, um... Could hit something good. Backup shoulder make disappear. Reinforcements isn't that scary. Rafine's pretty annoying. Probably shoulder. All right, scoop on that. Sure. Works for me. Welcome to the post game deck tech. Naya Humans coming through with a great showing today, and I do in fact think it is even better than Mono White because with access to red and green, we get Halana and Elena, which is another card that can answer shoulder which is basically how I define the strength of decks these days, given that that card is in something like over 20% of every deck played. So you need to have answers to it. And every time you build a deck, you need to ask the question, how do I deal with Shouldred when it comes down? Or how do I counter it? Or what can I do on my upkeep to get rid of it before I start losing life off the draw? Those questions need to be answered every time you make a deck, essentially. But this card turns everything with three power into five power, which means that it can spar with Shouldred, which means that the Peacekeeper comes jumps up to five, Adeline easily gets to 5, Intrepid Adversary to 5, Sentinel to 5. The only cards that don't are basically Thalia, uh, New Benalia, and Brutal Cathar, but Cathar can take Shouldered. Benalia can pretty easily power itself up to 5 via a similar logic, so really it's just Thalia that's the only card, which means the number of copies that can straight up deal with Shouldered is 4, 8, I count this, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cards that basically by themselves, or maybe with one of their cards sitting on the battlefield, can bash through Shouldered which is where you need to be. You need as many opportunities as possible to have an answer to that card. Otherwise, you lose. Mana base, uh, pretty interesting. We've got a lot of different things going on here. We are running the technology that is two copies of a Ganjo because it shoves in more removal into the deck. It is channeled and not cast, so you can get through your Thalia cost, which is pretty nice. And, you know, since we're running 24 lands anyway, it's nice to have some versatility in the mana base. Just uh, four slow lands, the Overground Farmland and the Sundown Pass, which share a similar spot to the Initiate in terms of curving out. And then four Plaza of Heroes. You can maybe go down to one, but this really isn't that bad. It helps you hit Alana and Alana really consistently, and it helps you play Thalia and Adeline. And once come down, it makes white anyway, so it's mostly fine. Include a Courtyard. You usually want to name Human. Just be sensitive to the fact that if you don't have double white, you may need to name Angel to prep for the Paragon. And two Thrawn Portals, just to be super consistent with the mana base, I think two is fine. Yeah, it's not amazing, but you don't have to drop it early. You can often wait till turn three to drop it, which is just fine. So that's the deck. If you enjoyed today's gameplay, then hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment. I'm Dr. Ruckus, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.